guys, today I'm doing a field test for the products that came in my Art Snacks and Sketchbox subscription boxes for January 2016. Um, right now, I'm going to be doing the line art for both of them. This is my Art Snacks line art, and this is my Sketchbox line art. Um, and I'm going to be doing it with a Marvie Le Pen uh, permanent, which is an alcohol-based permanent pen, and that came in my January 2015 Sketchbox. Art Snacks. My January 2016 Art Snacks subscription box is what where this pin came from. Sorry about that. When you have two boxes and they're kind of similarly named. This alcohol pen seems to be kind of prone to bleeding, um, giving fat kind of smudgy lines. So be aware of that when you're inking on a thirsty or a braided paper. It's going to cause feathering and your lines are going to bleed. And they're going to bleed a lot. And I'm doing this test in my Strath, uh, Strathmore watercolor visual journal. That did not come in either box. Neither box included any sort of paper. And given that this marker kind of bleeds unpredictably, it's difficult to um, build up line variation in your line art. Because it gives kind of a fat, smudgy line despite being, let's see what size this is. Or if it even gives a size. I would say it looks like a 0.5. I'm not seeing a size on here and I'd have to double check. But despite being a 0.5 approximately, it's giving like a, a 0.8 line weight and then bleeding out from there. So that's something to take into consideration if you're gonna use this pin. For someone like me who tends to draw small, it makes doing fine details very difficult. And usually 0.5 is a good size, um, but not if it bleeds out this much. So even though I tried to have a light hand right here, it still bled a lot. Let me zoom in. So I'm getting very blotchy, fuzzy lines. This pen bleeds out at point of contact the worst. So where you first put down your pen, there's going to be a bit of a blob. So it's difficult to pull sharp or nuanced lines. Alright, so that's the line art for my Art Snacks field test, lined with the Marvy Le Pen Permanent, which is an alcohol-based permanent marker. So it should work on Yupo, but it doesn't necessarily work so well on watercolor paper. 
All right, guys, so I'm back and it's several hours later. I'm gonna go ahead and erase the line art, I mean the pencils from both of these line arts. And uh, I'm going to proceed with the art snacks test. For those of you with short memories or short attention spans, this was inked with the included Le Pen Permanent, which is an alcohol-based permanent marker. And I am going to be using, I've already <laughs> used the yellow pen to do several comic pages, as well as the line art for this. And I really like this pencil. It's very comfortable in the hand. Um, but unfortunately, you're not going to see me use it at this portion. Uh, so what I'm gonna be using to color this is this Wink of Luna and this Crink. And I'm gonna go, I gotta find a brush that I don't mind sacrificing because I have a feeling um, the, between the two of these they're going to wreck the brush. So I well, let's see. It's something I wanted to do first. So one of the things the um, Art Snacks card said about this crink ink crink acrylic dauber is one of the reasons people like it is because you can um, it does like a drip effect on your work and that's gonna require me to have something I can, oh, that was a garbage cup. I need something to prop it up with so the, the acrylic can flow and I need to put down a piece of scratch paper so it doesn't wreck my gator board. So here's a piece of scratch watercolor paper That should work okay. And I think you guys can even see it. So we're gonna try. Oh yeah, it does do good drips. And it's already covering up my line art. And I had done a test with it. That's kind of cool. I had done a test with it um, Unfortunately, I can't squeeze it enough to make it drip without doing the, the dab because I'd like to have some drips elsewhere in the piece, but I don't think that's feasible. I had done some uh, tests a little while ago to test for the opacity. So um, all I did was I just like smeared it on and I can already see my line art underneath the crank. So when it dries, I think it will be, it will be okay but I think I want to do a little bit more. And this isn't something I would um, typically pick up in a store. I've just started to kind of get into acrylic markers, um, but I'm glad they sent it because I've been trying to do mixed media applications a little bit more, and this is a good way to do that. My only complaint, and this isn't with Art Snacks, it's with Crink, is it would be cool if I could get into the bottle too, so I could flick some of the same color onto this, but I could probably buy this color in this liquid, very um, liquidy acrylic. I could probably buy this paint from their site and apply it. So um, if this is a product you think is interesting, if this is a product you think you could use, you should definitely check out the Crank website so you can learn more. So I'm going to let this dry except some of these dots. See if I can get it to move a little further down on the page instead of giving up like halfway through. Ah, that went, that's what I want. I want to be able to squeeze and get some pink in random places. And maybe even a couple down here. Since it's going to dry um, translucent enough for me to see what I'm doing. Uh, this also has a, um, a little bit of an odor to it, like alcohol. I think, I think that's an accelerant to get it to dry quicker. Okay, so... Um, I guess I'm gonna let this dry and I'll get back to you guys with the rest of this test. So I'll see you in a bit. 
So um, the crank acrylic that I applied, um, it ended up pooling at the bottom, and I've already knocked the pooled off bits um, to facilitate drawing, but it is still uh, tacky. Um, it when you allow it to build up, it will stay damp for a really long time. I had it in front of a fan for like 30 to 40 minutes. Um, I'm, oh shoot, look, it, it soaked through to my other things and like on, eh. I mean, yeah, that's my fault, but um, it's still unfortunate for me. So um, since I'm still waiting on this one to dry, I'm going to switch tracks and I'll see you guys on the Sketchbox video where I guess I'm going to have to wipe the pink out or something. I don't know. So I'm checking in with my art snacks piece while I wait for my um, snack box to dry. I'm just clearing the snack box stuff out of the way. Um, and the crink acrylic is still wet. It's been about an hour. It also has um, extremely strong fumes, so please keep that in mind. You need to work in a very well ventilated area. If you're sensitive, it's going to be too strong for you because I'm not particularly sensitive and it's too strong for me. So the next thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go back and tighten up the lines I've already drawn that are uh, covered up. And I'm using that Marvy Le Pen that I had done the original line work with. And I don't know if you can see it, but where the crink acrylic went, I think they use um, alcohol or some form of alcohol solution as a um, accelerant for this or part of the solution. Um, so it made my Le Pen bleed all over the place um, and I'm finding as I tighten up these lines that um, it wants to reactivate the crank um, and crank probably works great if you're working outside on a sunny day and um, it's a dry day today but it is not a sunny day I'm actually in my studio at night trying to get these reviews done because I would like to post them by this Monday at least have all of the videos up. I guess by this Monday I really mean tomorrow, which is going to be a lot of work on my part to get everything, um, get put annotations in and stuff. I guess it's most important just to get the videos looking decent and up and I can always um, worry about adding annotations and cards and links after. And I'm going to have to allow the Marvy to kind of um, cure for a bit before I go over this with the Wink of Luna, which is going to be my last layer. Let me just push those pesky art alternatives watercolor pencils out of my way. So Patreon backers will also get to help me determine um, the subjects that I draw with um, my sketchbox and my art snacks. And um, depending on how well the pieces turn out, I may also um, raffle them off to backers. Okay, so that's what the tightened uh, line art looks like with the Le Pen. And I'm gonna grab a quick photo for the blog. and continue to allow my art alternatives pencils to dry. So I will see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, I can finally get back to my art snacks um, 
important part, art snacks piece. Um, since it is, for the most part, dry, so I'm going to do my Wink of Luna, which is a metallic, opaque um, brush pin by Kuretake. Um, it's got nylon bristles on it. Sorry, I kind of goofing around showing you guys. Its build is very similar to a water brush, so if you're familiar with water brushes, these are like pre-filled water brushes. They're great. I've been using their Wink of Stella for a long time, and I really love Wink of Luna. I, I mean, Wink of Stella, and I'm super excited that Zig sent me a Wink of Luna because, I mean, gosh, I can't talk today that, um, Art Snacks sent me a Wink of Luna because they've been on my wish list for a while and I just haven't made the time to um, order and test them because I have so many other things going on. But I'm excited that they came in my Art Snacks, cause he, or one came in my Art Snacks this month because it gave me an opportunity to play around with them. And I am doing a mermaid for my January 2016 Art Snacks uh, field test. I've already done the background in pink crank. That's what came in my box. Not my favorite color, but um, you know. And uh, I already originally had something else planned for the background, but um, I reading about how artists like the crank because of these the ability to get this kind of a drip effect. I was like, well, I'm sold. cool thing about Wink of Luna is it is um, water soluble to an extent so you can I mean it might not want to work over yeah it doesn't want to work over the crank which is interesting in its own right you can pick up some of the color and uh, apply it for a less opaque treatment so you can basically do a cool watercolor metallic thing ink wash kind of treatment and I plan on doing that that's why I had the um, wax paper out it's so I could create a palette for her skin but um, just messing around with the hair I can do that too and uh, that's cool I if you were aware of this technique, you should have told me. So I could have done it sooner. No, I'm just messing. I like the technique though. It's, that is cool to be able to do um, like a metallic ink wash. I'm definitely gonna noodle around with it more. And this is just a regular water brush. You might have seen me using it in my, um, the sketch box review. It's cause my koi, broke and this color is so rich such a nice green I mean I really could get obnoxious and do a green and pink background too but I think I'm gonna leave the background as is and the crank should be waterproof oh no I messed up right there Let's see if I can get some of that out because I really want to do an ink like a light ink wash oh well on her skin but my lack of familiarity with this product means I overestimated my ability. You guys can already tell those pink crank drips aren't going anywhere. They're here to stay for good or for bad. I could have I could have masked her off but I want to start doing stuff that's a little more spontaneous 
than what I normally do, so I just have to be okay with this. And my crank is still a little tacky. It wants to catch my hand. So I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'm going to go back and do the details in her hair and on her tail and maybe some additional shading on her skin or maybe I'll do it now and um, where it's opaque in her hair you can either kind of brush that away oh no I should not have done that so that was not dry so okay we'll do something with that I guess or you can re-ink that with the, um, the included lip pen permanent. The distinction there, because I actually have a regular lip pen and it is water-based. In fact, I can, while I'm, while I've got these things drying, where did that lip pen go? There it is. Okay, so this is the lip pen permanent that they sent. And this is the water-based Le Pen. They're very different looking, in case you can't tell. Um, this one is water-based. This one is alcohol-based, so you can't use it with your alcohol markers. It will run everywhere. And I think I have a, I thought I had a sample card where I tested that. Oh, yeah. It had fallen. So, this is where I added alcohol marker, and this is just water. And this is the crank over the Marvy Le Pen, and that's the Wink of Luna, and that's me blending it out with water. So, I'm going to let this dry, and I'll come back to it and work on it a little bit more. Okay, so I think that first layer has dried and I can go ahead and start adding in some of the details on the hair. And what's really nice about Wink of Luna is that it you can do um, like hair brush strokes the same way you would with um, like a, a watercolor brush. And that would probably also work for metals, or you could even you could use these for calligraphy. Um, so these are really cool, cooler than I'd originally thought. Now that I know that they're water based and can be blended out or used for a uh, pseudo ink wash effect, a shimmery pseudo ink wash effect. And I'm probably going to go back over this with the Le Pen, as I would mentioned, and um, just tighten up my line work again so it's not so lost. And the ink flow is pretty generous too. Kuretake makes some really good products like I am almost always happy with stuff I get from them a friend of mine sent me their um, their big watercolor kit the one everybody's obsessed with right now she sent me that for Christmas and I'm really excited about it. I'm kind of holding it hostage from myself she asked me if I'd opened it it was kind of like because eh, I'm holding it hostage from myself until I can get through some of my other backlog That's pretty cool. And I'm going to do her eyebrows, and I'm going to have to draw those details back in later. And I kind of want to do, you know what, I'm not. I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to do some more pseudo ink wash. Okay, so my hair is pretty much dry, and I can pick up some of my color from this side palette over here that I've created. And this is just like really garbage scrap paper. Oh, you can't see it. Let me pull out a little bit there. 
this this is just like a piece of <laughs> garbage scrap paper um that i have been using for some alcohol based marker stuff and mostly water based marker stuff like i was using it um when i was working with the uh the brushables right is it brushables yeah which is oh another curd packet product Okay, so we're almost done. I'm going to let this layer dry, uh, then I'm going to add some details to the tail, and um, then I'm going to go back with that Le Pen and tighten up my line work. Alright, so let's do those final final tail details because I wasn't getting enough contrast with the blended out um, with the blended out Wink of Luna and that's no not Wink of Luna's problem that's just my own and originally my plan had been to um, pry the lid off of my crank and paint like do um water it down and paint with it the way i'm painting with this and then i read about how people really valued it for the drippy property and it would actually be very cool to do drips with the wink of luna i just don't want to unnecessarily expend such a cool product is expend a word And if you wanted even more contrast, you could do um, like white dots and that would look really good. Uh, oh shoot, that went right in my side palette. Let's see if I can clean that up a little bit so it doesn't get on everything. Thank goodness these books are so tough. And it seems like once it's dry, once the Wink of Luna is dry, it's pretty much permanent. So that is something to keep in mind if you want to replicate my technique. And the most shiny it's going to be, the shiniest, the shiniest it's going to be, is um, when it's at its most opaque. So when you haven't watered it down. So other than the interior of my mermaid's mouth being dry, this is pretty much ready. So I'm going to move that out of the way and go ahead and tighten up some of my lines again. And, oh man, okay, so um, if you rest your hand on your paper, even the part that doesn't have acrylic on it, but like the Wink of Luna, if you rest your hand on your paper, you will pick up some of the ink. That's going to make doing this a little harder. So it basically means i got to rest my hand off the desk. Also, if you wanted to like beef up your line art, now would be a good time to do it. Add some some line width to the mix. If you wanted to break away from using just art snack stuff, um, some white highlights might look pretty cute in an illustration like this, especially on the tail. Um, 
I am, I think I'm going to try and stay pretty strict though, as cute as that might be, I think I'm going to try and stay pretty strict too, only art snacks stuff, see what I can do with it, because otherwise if I start making exceptions, then, you know, for me, what's the point of doing the challenge, because the challenge is to, for me, the challenge is going to be to work with what they send me rather than digging into my stockpile of supplies. So that was my January art snacks. I hope you guys found it helpful. Um, I hope this video helps you make a decision about whether or not Art Snacks is right for you. If you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and um, consider backing my Patreon because if I just get a total of 15 a month, not from any one user, but from all of my total subscribers, I will make these videos um, public so that anybody can enjoy them and that means 15 of you giving one dollar a month that's not all that hard um, if you are a subscriber and we don't hit 15 a month for whatever reason um, you will have access to the videos but you will not I will not be writing a blog blog post about it and um, it's not going to be made public on YouTube so that's just something to keep in mind I hope you guys found this useful. Have a good evening. Bye, guys.